This week on the show, we have Andy Knight, the global head of brand for Roborock. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about understanding that doing the things you're afraid to do is an opportunity for growth. The reality is many people never go after their desires because they're afraid to take the leap into the unknown. Successful people leap and embrace going after the things that scare them, as they know on the other side of fear lies opportunity. Avoiding the things you're afraid to do hinders growth and all the wonderful opportunities that can unfold if you had just taken a chance and pushed through the discomfort of getting out of your comfort zone. Make it your mission today to do one thing that scares you. It can be as little as talking to a stranger or picking up the phone and calling a company you've always wanted to work for. Opportunities are available to us at all times, and the best way to find them is to tackle our fears daily. As Robert Two quotes, until you see fear as an opportunity for growth, you won't grow beyond your current self. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. And what makes the Roborock different from other products on the market? What makes our company special and what people really like to talk about us the most is really the navigation. Uh, everyone, reviewers, users always talk about how good the navigation on this robot is. All our robots actually. And then in the case of this robot, the S7 Max V Ultra and the whole S7 series, the ability that these robots have to mop your floors and then lift the mop and then vacuum the carpet is something no one else on the market has. And it basically saves you, again, saves you time. So instead of having to set up all these special zones for your mop so that you don't end up wetting your carpets or having to roll your carpets away if you're mopping the floor, you just press go and the robot will do it all for you. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have Andy Knight, the global head of brand for Roborock, the innovative, smart robot vacuum cleaner. Andy, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. I'm very well. Well, I'm very excited to talk to you. I actually used the Roborock this weekend at my place and I love it. So for our viewers that don't know what the Roborock is, tell us about it. Uh, the Robot X7 Max V, which you've got there, is basically an all-singing, all-dancing robot vacuum, floor mop, and also it empties itself, it washes itself, it cleans itself, it refills itself, and then it's ready to go again right away. It basically means you you can keep everything clean without ever having to do anything for weeks at a time. Andy, talk to us about the history of Roborock and how it started. Sure, Roborock started like a lot of good companies. They, someone. Someone very clever looked at the world and saw that they could do something slightly differently or even better. In our case, our CEO Richard Chang was working in the US right at the beginning of the robot vacuum, I guess, craze when they first started to become popular. And he thought this could really change his life. And so he bought one and was really disappointed. So he bought another and then another. And he tells us he bought 20 of them before finally giving up and deciding to himself, deciding that he can do it better himself. Mm -hmm. And the thing that he said robots needed to do better was navigate. The first okay. robot we ever made was the H5, mm -hmm. <laughs> and that one was praised right from the start for how good its navigation was. Mm -hmm. And from there we kind of got up and up into looking at what customers needed and how they can, how the service can be changed and improved. Mm -hmm. And that's how all innovation starts, right? It starts with the need and uh, yeah, it's, it's really grown. And the great thing about this product is that it gives you the ability to focus on other things while the Roborock is cleaning your house. So, so tell us about that technology. It really does. I mean, well, basically it is exactly what it sounds like. It's a robot. So instead of having to take time out of your day to go vacuuming or to go mopping, you don't have to because the robot can do it for you. But more than that, because of this is an X7 Max V Ultra, which has that special dock, it means when it finishes mopping, you don't have to spend waste time taking the mop cloth off, chucking the washing machine, or refilling the water tank. The dock will wash it all for you, refill the water tank for you, and that saves you even more time. All basically meaning that you can focus on doing whatever it is you actually enjoy. 
And the amazing thing about the Roborock is its features um, from sonic vibration and of course eliminating pollutants. I know that the Roborock captures 99.99 .99 of particles as small as 0.3 microns. So tell us about how it does that and the harm that pollutants can cause in your home. Typically a robot mop doesn't have any kind of vibration that much. It just sort of drags a cloth behind it. This one has what we call sonic vibration, kind of like a toothbrush, which kind of vibrates the mop pad at 3000 scrubs per minute. So it's way faster than you can scrub with your hands and it really makes it clean much more effectively. Mm -hmm. And then, in terms of the filtration, basically it removes it removes allergens and pollutants like pollen or dander from the air, uh, from the floor as it cleans, but also um, it stops that same kind of small stuff from flying out of the robot as it's cleaning, because it has an air filter inside it. And the dock also has an air filter inside it, so it prevents it from get it coming out during the transition from the robot to the dock. And the Roborock comes with an empty wash fill dock. So let's talk about how the empty wash fill dock uh, works hand in hand with the Roborock. Right. It gets very complicated technically. Basically, the simple version is when the robot docks, it can it can park it can park in kind of nose first, and when it does, it can empty. And you basically have a whole separate vacuum built into the dock, which pulls all the stuff that the robot's picked up through the roller wheel of where where the where it sucks in the dust and then it stores it in a, in a dustbin, in a bag, sorry, in the dock itself. And then for the mop, it can come out, it goes into the dock bum first, and you have a whole system of robotics there with rollers and water jets and spinning things that basically swipe backwards and forwards across the mop, cleaning everything. And then when it's finished, it'll come back out and park nose first again with the mop raised off the ground so that it can then dry clean, dry itself. Hmm, very interesting. And and as I said, I have the Roborock S7 Max V here. So let's talk about the specific features that this has over the other models out there. Sure, this one's a bit special. So let's try and break it up into different pieces. I've already mentioned the sonic mopping and the vacuuming, which is pretty standard. So on the front of it, you'll see what looks like a couple of cameras. And what you actually have there is what we call a 3D structured light obstacle avoidance system. Mm -hmm. What that does is it kind of fires out a shape into the space in front of the robot. And then the camera scans how that shape is distorted mm -hmm. to see if there's something in front of the robot that shouldn't be there. And if there is, it'll go around it. Also on the front of that robot is a typical camera that you might find on your computer. And that is basically using visual recognition and you know um, AI to recognize a lot of standard hazards from for perhaps for robots at home. So it could be shoelaces, could be specific types of chairs, could be things that your pets leave behind. And again, it will see those and avoid those. Mm -hmm. And what makes the Roborock different from other products on the market? What makes our company special and what people really like to talk about us the most is really the navigation. Uh, there's everyone, reviewers, users, always talk about how good the navigation on this robot is. All our robots, actually. And then in the case of this robot, the S7 Max V Ultra and the whole S7 series, the ability that these robots have to mop your floors and then lift the mop and then vacuum the carpet is something no one else on the market has. And it basically saves you, again, saves you time. So instead of having to set up all these special zones for your mop so that you don't end up wetting your carpets or having to roll your carpets away if you mop on the floor, you just press go and the robot will do it all for you. Mm -hmm. And let's talk more about the AI technology because I used it uh, the other day and it was very cool how it was able to navigate itself and map out my whole room and just, you know, get to work. So let's talk about that a little bit more. Right. So this is AI and a bit in the sense that it uses machine learning and it's basically been trained on tens of thousands of images of all kinds of common home hazards. And it's been done, that's basically so that the robot has learned what these things look like. And so when it sees them, it can know how to handle them. And it actually handles things slightly differently. So a shoelace, it might it might stay quite close to because it knows that the shoelace itself is not dirty. Mm -hmm. But let's say your dog has, has uh, had an accident at home, which is possible. The robot will see that and go, and go okay, you know what? I'm not gonna go too close to that. It'll give it a nice wide berth and then leave you a nice little icon on the phone screen so that you know what to expect when you come home. Mm -hmm. And I know you can also control it with the Roborock app. So let's talk about that and how you can use it to navigate the Roborock. 
Sure, the app is basically where you do all the useful stuff. Everything from setting up routines or schedules or customizing the map of your home or choosing how much suction you want, how hard you want the mopping to be, how many times you want an area cleaned. It's the, the heart of the device, the brain of the device and the heart of the device. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing about the S7 Max V is that it can go seven weeks without emptying. So tell us about that feature and the benefits of that. It's actually, you don't have to empty the dust bag for about seven weeks in our testing. Mm -hmm. So it's seven weeks without having to touch your robot or do anything while the vacuum is in your house. And then at the same time, the robot's got a water tank in it, of course, so that's when it, when it drives around the house and it's mopping your floor, it's constantly pumping water into the mop and then it's scrubbing it into the floor to you know, keep you nice, clean floors. And so traditionally, you'd have to then basically go and check on the robot and see if the water tank is empty. If it's not, or if it is, sorry, you have to refill it some more, and it just breaks up the process. It makes it much less automatic. Now, with this robot, it'll drive back to the dock. It'll refill its water tank for you. At the same time, it'll also clean the mop, and then go back to where it started, where it stopped, sorry, and continue on from where it left off. So basically, you're, you always are using clean mop. You're always using clean, you've always got clean floors, and you don't have to waste time refilling or cleaning. Mm -hmm. And I know this specific model has double the suction, so let's talk about that as well. Yeah, typically more suction is better with cleaning carpets, so getting you know, getting fur from even the fibers or you know that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And since its inception from uh, 2014, the Roborock has really, really grown. So let's talk about that and the kind of feedback that you're getting from consumers. Yeah, we really have boomed, haven't we? Um, um, basically, the, the main feedback that we get from people is that they think these products are incredibly well thought out, they're very, very well effective. They are capable of doing things that maybe were not common at the time, in particular the navigation is a big call out that we always had. Um, and then we've always tried to make sure that we are always launching something new in the robot space. So, you know, we've had the dual camera office recognition, we've now got the mop lifting, we have the empty wash fill dock, which is also the first of its kind in the market. So we're trying to always push for what the consumers want and to give people something that they haven't had before, always with an aim to giving them more time to do things that they actually would enjoy. Mm -hmm. And the company mandate is exploring the unknown without limitations. So talk to us about what that means for you as a brand. It just means that um, you need the freedom to explore before you can really build what people actually need. So who knew? You know, you never know what the engineers can come up with and what they've given up in the background to try and make something that would really work. And the freedom to invent is really important to us and it's how we've created products that people really like. Mm -hmm. And what advice would you have for entrepreneurs out there to create a successful brand? Because you have a lot of entrepreneurs that watch the show. The question for the CEO. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say that for at least using, like, using this company as a reference, the important thing is to really look at what your market wants and also, and then look at that and, say, and see the reasons why the market wants these things. Maybe you can answer these wants in a way that no one else has because you look at it differently. Mm -hmm. And for our viewers that want to purchase the Roborock, uh, especially the S7 Max V, uh, where can they do so and learn more information? You can buy them direct from Roborock at roborock.com or at Walmart or various distributed in the US. Andy, thank you so much for being on the show today and talking about this amazing product. Thank you very much. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook. Hey, you can fly high,